every little detail explains like one object and the thing that is very curious to me is how many parts an object needs in order that the brain will understand it as this sort of the object. This one is almost like Harry Pottery one, no? It's like having these glasses who are, this pair of eyes who are just like flying around. With my background in fashion and then moving towards accessories and then again moving more towards um, objects that have a core with the human being but somehow they are going away from the body. This piece, it started as I wanted to have like different glasses looking towards the space and, and, and I am not there. It's very interesting sometimes how the, how the focus shifts. So first the glasses were looking towards something and I was not there. And then suddenly when I'm working on the ID and I'm looking into the glasses, it the question is, is, is on me somehow, and it's like, who are you? Ooh. Mm -hmm. I like when things become alive and they have another, another story. It's not their, their, their usual story. I love the idea that it's kind of, um, it's moving, it's like a watch, you know how you call this, tick, tick, tick. I can show you another piece that I'm working on for a while now. There would be a, a chamber. Right now we are developing uh, the sensor, so whenever a person will come in the room, it will start to, um, to sense it and it will um, bloop, 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 like, um, it will lighten up a little bit and then when you sit in the chair, all the lights are, are, are um, kind of popping. The whole process, it's quite consuming, I would call it. I felt that people want to put me in a box. I think it was me who, who, who was uh, going in boxes for some reason. When you work with the pieces, um, it's almost like you are exploring yourself. I started also to create my own heads. But yeah, I'm still getting used to myself. <laughs>